guys, welcome to Cool Chemist once again. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you single displacement um, through the help of an experiment. In this experiment, we're going to be displacing copper sulfate and iron. So iron will be displacing copper sulfate because iron is more reactive than copper sulfate. And therefore, it will be kicking out copper sulfate from the compound and therefore uh, making it iron sulfate and giving out copper. So for this, we're going to need a uh, 5 ml of copper sulfate solution. Uh, I have some iron filings here with me. So then I'm going to be dropping these iron filings into the copper sulfate. And we're going to be observing what happens to the solution after a while. So as you can see, the iron sinks to the bottom. Um, we're going to wait for some time and observe the solution later. So then this is how the solution looks after a period of 10 minutes. You can see that the copper has been displaced. The brown solid over here at the bottom is copper. So then this green solution is actually ferrous sulfate or iron sulfate. So when you feel the test tube here, you can feel some heat which shows that this is an exothermic reaction. So then what happens actually over here is that Copper has been kicked out of its place, or actually, in scientific terms, displaced, and iron has taken the place of copper, producing iron sulfate and giving out a residue of copper. So, that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. So, please feel free to give your feedback in the comments box below. And, hope you enjoy. Oh, and just one more thing. Um, if you're not actually just watching this video, you're planning to carry out this experiment at home, um, I would just suggest a few ways to dispose of the products of this reaction. So then you have the copper here and the solution here. First you will have to filter them. Um, the solution can be poured directly down the drain, whereas the copper has to be mixed with household garbage and then can later be thrown along with that. So thanks once again and bye.